On April 11th, 1976, the NBA teams played the last game of the regular season. The long climb that would eventually lead to the NBA championship for one team. The playoffs were underway. The second season had begun. The Boston Celtics started the second season in the Garden against a formidable foe, the Buffalo Braves. The Celtics had won four, but lost three to the Braves in the regular season play. In the first two playoff games, Boston had little trouble with the Braves on the Garden floor. But in game two, the Boston lineup seemed different. It looked as though there was something missing. And indeed there was. John Havlicek had injured a foot and was not in the lineup. The Celtics had taken the first game by nine. Without Hondo, they took the second by five. And then the series moved to Buffalo. Buffalo won those two games to tie the series. Even without Hamlicek, the Celtics came within two points of winning on the Buffalo home court. Boston took an 11-point victory in game five and came back to the Buffalo Auditorium for a crucial game six of the series. John Havlicek, who had played 35 minutes in game five, scoring just but eight points, was in the starting lineup for the Celtics. The Boston starting five were playing their usual game, although John Havlicek, obviously unable to jump on his injured foot, was not getting his share of rebounds. Silas and Cowens easily made up for that. Hondo was playing his steady floor game that has pulled the Celtics out of many a tight situation. All through three quarters of play, McAdoo and Randy Smith were answering Boston charges with baskets of their own. The Celtics started on top, and Buffalo came back to own a five-point lead at halftime. In the third quarter, it was Boston's fifth starter who came alive. Charlie Scott came on for Boston. At the end of the third quarter, the Braves had a one-point lead. A Charlie Scott jumper put the Celtics up by a point at the beginning of the fourth quarter. The Celtics fought to stay there. DeGregorio, Smith, and McAdoo brought the Braves back. Charlie Scott broke their heart. Charlie scored nine Boston points in a row and hit on nine consecutive shots. It was what led up to Charlie's ninth point that broke the Braves' heart. A sensational steal that put the Celtics ten points ahead with four minutes left in the game. The Braves closed the score, but it was never in doubt after that, and Boston was on its way to the Eastern Conference Finals, the second step of the playoffs.